Hello. Right, I'm going to try and upload every Wednesday. Um, I haven't had any recent pickups, so I'm going to be doing a little cleaning video. So I'm going to be cleaning the uh, passports, a pair that I wore pretty much every other day last year. I should have put them on my top five. They're definitely in my top ten, and they get very grubby. So I'm giving them, I'm going to give them a little clean up and do a little cleaning video. But yeah, hope everyone is uh, safe and well. Let's get to it. But, but first, what's on feet? I've got the Send Helps on today. A lovely older pair. And yeah, let's have a little look. So let's get started. I'm going to need a soft bristle brush, a medium bristle brush and a firm bristle brush. I have a cloth or a towel to sort of dry as I'm doing it. A cleaning solution, a bowl for your water and then at the end I'm probably going to need some mink oil. So I'll take out the insoles first and then I'll take out the laces. In all my pairs if I buy them brand new I swap out the the uh, insoles with footprint insoles I just find them more comfortable and it also saves the print on the design uh, so I won't be cleaning the insoles but I'll show you the technique with the laces I dip it in the water and warm water to keep it to get it saturated and then I will use the cleaning solution give it a quick rub get it all frothy and foamy it didn't really foam up that much because these are rope laces and dependent on the color of laces and the material depends on how much you need to work at these but these are pretty clean anyway leave them to soak i would brush off anything on the uh, insole and then i would clean it with a solution and a soft bristle brush if i needed to but these are my footprint insoles and they are all good so to the shoe now later on i put in the uh, shoe tree or this because i forgot to put it in but i would normally put the shoe tree in uh, and my main cleaning process that I start with is trying to get out all those little stones and pieces of glass and sticks and twigs and stuff like that from the outsole. I've got a tool that I used uh, when I was resoling a pair a long time ago, so I use that just to pop it out. Anything sharp and pointy can work. Then I brush off if it's got like dry dirt on it. Uh, I just brush it off with a medium or firm bristle brush just so that it doesn't saturate in when you do get this wet with the cleaning solution. So cleaning solution, I'm using rejuvenator today, two squirts into warm water, soft bristle brush, and then we will get cleaning. So I start with the uppers, majority of the time, Working around, you can be quite firm pressure because this is a soft bristle brush, but obviously it's all dependent on materials and the color and stuff like that in case it bleeds. So I'll work the whole upper and then I'll work the midsole and then I'll put some of that onto the outsole. Here's me popping in the shoe trees that I forgot to do previously. It's always good because the toe box on these does need a bit of a reshape. Now, I always have my towel or cloth or something like that so you can dry the suds off as you're going just to see how well it's cleaning and if you need to go over it more and stuff like that. You can't really tell when it is covered in suds. So yeah, give it a little wipe over and then you can go at it again, which I had to do on quite a few panels of this just because they've got so much dirt on them. I like to go inside as well, it freshens it up. Obviously these are my own pair, but if you was buying a pair second hand, you want to definitely make sure that it is clean inside if you are not putting these in the washing machine. And then this is my least favorite part. I use the firm bristle brush and I am cleaning the outsole. Now this takes the longest uh, time out of the whole process and you have to keep going over. 
Uh, and what I do is I give it a good old scrub, I rinse it under some water so you can get all them suds off so you can actually see if there is dirt left and then I go at it again and then you will probably have to repeat the process of digging out the stones because you will see more stones, more glass, it all starts to show when that dirt has cleared. Um, it does take the longest period of time during the clear cleaning but it's something if you want to do a nice job it's got to be done you can always skip this part because they are going to be worn anyway but it's totally up to you and i feel like if you're cleaning it you may as well clean it so there we go it is all rinsed off but yeah as i said the toe box it needs some reshaping so what i do is i stuff a pair of socks just to sort of push and pad it out and then i put my rejuvenator shoe trees in so it should hopefully give it a better shape. Now there is creasing on the toe box. I'm not gonna iron that out because I wear these so often it would just be pointless, but you could probably do the iron technique on these. So here we are, all dried. They are very crunchy because obviously there is the suede has got wet. There's marks where I've left it on the radiator because I'm impatient. So I'm just going to give it a little brush with a soft bristle brush to start sort of moving that suede apart, getting it like breaking it up again and almost like re-napping it. And then I will work with the firmer bristle brush just to really break it through. But even just from using the soft bristle brush, you can see the difference in texture between the one that I haven't touched at all. So you can be quite firm. Obviously, it's dependent on the materials and the suede and how delicate and then I'm going to apply mink oil. Now you can get mink oil from Rejuvenator. It does sell out quite quickly. This is from Angelus, if I pronounce that right. Um, and yeah, mink oil is just absolutely amazing when it comes to suede and most materials when you want to get it really, really plush and soft again. So Nubuck and suede it works wonders. Yeah, so I work that in with a soft bristle brush and you can really see the difference. So that, that the one on the top is where I have used the mink oil and almost re-napped it. It's got a lot more texture, a lot more movement. And there we go, all cleaned. Let's lace them up and put them on feet.